Now to our top story, a year in the making of Savannah breaking ties of its slavery era past as a downtown square has officially dropped the name of a former slave owner and supporter and renamed it in honor of a black woman who taught formerly enslaved people to read and write. WSAV's Tyler Carmona was there for this historic moment. He shows us more. Back in 2022, the city of Savannah voted to remove the name of John C. Calhoun from the square. Since then, the city has engaged the community in a year-long voting process, which eventually led to today's unveiling. I think it shows the maturity of Savannah as we continue to grow, um, that we have to lift up names, we have to work together. And the fact of the matter was, this was people of all races, hues, ages, from all parts of the community coming together saying, you know what, this is the name we need to choose. Mayor Van Johnson was one of the special guests who spoke at this event honoring Susie King Taylor, a former Army nurse and Civil War icon who grew up in Savannah. Mayor Johnson said the decision to honor Taylor represents everything that the city of Savannah stands for. This is what makes us the greatest city on earth, because this is what Savannah looks like. After escaping slavery at the age of 14, Taylor served as a nurse and teacher in the United States Army. According to the Library of Congress, Taylor was the first African-American teacher to openly educate African-American students in the state of Georgia. At the age of 13, she founded the first free school for African-American children. Hundreds of people gathered at her new square to honor the local legend. Do you know, my people, do you know Susie Baker King Taylor? Call her name and she will live forever. Donald Lovett is the chairman of Liberty County's Board of Commissioners, where Taylor was born before moving to Savannah as a young girl. He says that Taylor was known to be a very modest woman. Although she was the first black woman to publish a memoir of her Civil War experience, he says she originally didn't think her story was worth telling. Her thinking was, my story? Everybody has a story. And today the world knows about Susan King Taylor. After the unveiling, a day-long celebration has taken place featuring some local music acts. Reporting in Taylor Square, Tyler Carmona, WSAV News 3, on your side.